Hey team, hope you're all doing well. Today's topic, I want to go over a question that's often asked, um, and even I asked this earlier in my career when I first started running in the sport of track and field, um, and that is how many days before running gets easier. And I think a lot of times we get very rushed. We, we want really fast results, but in reality, it does take some time before running eventually starts to get easier for and it's going to vary from athlete to athlete um, I think that usually you'll start to see some results and you'll start to running will start to get easier within about three to four weeks uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer you know f between four and six weeks for some athletes they start seeing some results in a matter of a couple weeks um, but normally physiologically it does take anywhere from around 21 days up to around four to five weeks before you start to see some adaptation from running aerobically as well as anaerobically and i think in order to run faster and more effectively and to be able to sustain your goal race pace for longer periods of time you can't just focus on running easy relaxed aerobic running okay it, it's still vital it's still essential for you to to still run easy in order to get in better fitness in order to burn fat build your endurance but you do have to get out of your comfort zone okay you are not going to get faster if you just run easy relaxed running every single day okay and again every athlete's different as well so what i mean by that is if your goal is to race a specific time in your specific race distance then running at much faster paces is essential okay if your goal is just to start and finish a race or if your goal is to lose weight, then running easy and relaxed every single day and being consistent with your mileage will definitely should be your overall focus. So there are a lot of different runners that come to this channel that have different aspirations. Okay, there's some athletes that are trying to earn a Boston qual Boston Marathon qualifying standard. Some athletes are trying to run faster on the track. But there are also a lot of athletes that are just trying to get in better shape, okay? So that might be you. If that's the case, focus on being consistent with your mileage. You know, if you're just starting off in the sport, maybe if you're overweight, try to just get in the, the habit of walking and jogging two to three times a week. I think you really need to focus on being consistent in terms of running anywhere from around three to four days a week. And then as you get fitter, then you can start focusing on adding an additional day of running, maybe an additional day or two of running, and, and start speeding up your your paces during your, your runs as well. I think even if you're not in great shape, you can still do strides. And strides are basically short 50 to 100 meter sprints uh, where you're just kind of gradually speeding up. You're not doing an all out 50 to 100 meter sprint from the get go, okay? Again, we want to focus on periodization, and periodization is just gradually getting into focusing on different paces, but not being in a rush, having a long-term approach, not having a short-term approach. In, in this sport, you don't get great results in terms of on physio, in terms of physiology and in terms of your mental state. You don't get quick results overnight. So just be patient with yourself in training. Don't be in a rush. Don't lose your enthusiasm, you know, maintain your excitement for what you're doing, and, and I think you'll, you'll definitely succeed. But just keep in mind that every athlete, whether they're a beginner or they're an elite level athlete, has to be consistent. You have to be tenacious about what you're doing if you truly want to be successful in this sport. And again, your goal might not be to earn an Olympic trials qualifying standard in a, in a USA track and field event. Your goal may be to be able to start and finish a 5K. Maybe your goal is to run your first half marathon or run a new, if, you know, but again, if your goal is to run a new personal best in a 10K or to run a sub five minute mile, then you have to get beyond running just aerobic, easy, relaxed mileage every single week. Of course, there's some athletes out there who do have a great deal of physiological genetic capability who can run easy, relaxed mileage for about 90 to 95% of their weekly volume and still set new personal best and still run much faster 
than some athletes that are really putting in a lot of speed work and but not maybe not running quite as much mileage so every athlete is different every athlete has a different g genetic makeup and has a different physiological capability there's some athletes out there that can go out and run a sub three hour marathon in their debut marathon there's some athletes that can break a five minute mile without training that hard but there's some there's other athletes out there who have to work very very hard in order to break a five minute mile or to break a seven minute mile or to break 20 minutes for two miles so i try with this channel to to really not only share my expertise and experience in middle to long distance running but also to understand that every athlete is different and and the athletes that are running slower than other athletes are no less of an athlete are you know their self-worth is no less than those athletes out there that are training extremely hard and running much faster times it doesn't mean they're any better as an athlete or as a person i think we all get caught up a lot of athletes get far too caught up i know i was early in my career um as a high schooler especially i was really caught up in times and and trying to break records and and yeah you do have to have you do have to be goal oriented but just remind yourself that your self-worth is not based on how fast you run i think a lot of athletes add so much added stress on themselves when they get caught up with comparing themselves to other athletes comparing themselves to their last workout or to their last races you know don't be so hard on yourself you know find keep that enjoyment in what you're doing make sure that you're still training hard and being consistent and being tenacious with what you're doing with whatever goal you have okay if it's to lose five to ten pounds if it's to earn a boston qualifying standard in the marathon or to run a new personal best on the track or on the roads you do have to be zeroed in and focused on what you're doing and but also at the same time still have a good time still enjoy yourself still know that this is just running okay there's more to life than just running round yourself with people that'll take you out of your comfort zone whether those are great you know athletes that are better than you or surround yourself with that that support structure you know your family and friends that still are going to care about you still will respect you regardless of what time you run um, surround yourself with those types of individuals those those successful people that will help you keep your your mindset in the right area and, and not be so focused on if I don't run this time I'm I'm not as good of an athlete or if I don't run as fast as this other guy or gal then I'm not as good as them stop comparing yourself to other athletes okay but that's you know in terms of how many days before running starts to get easier I think anywhere from a matter of two up to around four to five weeks you're gonna start seeing results you're going to start feeling much much easier and you're going to start really running will start to get easier for you so i hope this is helpful for you uh, whether you're a beginner or an elite level athlete the more experienced you are in the sport you know this is you'll definitely know already uh, but for some athletes out there that are just starting off in the sport that want to know this question i hope this answers it uh, feel free to leave me a comment below this video i'll definitely reach back out to you i always respond to everybody that, that comments and um, there are resources below all my videos definitely there for you to help take your running to the next level feel free to visit rundreamachieve.com i do have uh, running courses training plans personal one-on-one -on -one coaching if that's something that's in of interest to you and uh, i wish you all the best in your training and racing and i'll talk to you all in the next video